What's up everybody? Derek here with the Bass Factory and today we're down at the creek and we're going to go fishing with the best bait that you can use for bluegill and sunfish. All right, I got a worm on the hook, and the only reel that I had in the truck today actually ended up being my son's Zebco little uh, slingshot. Yeah, I've used this thing before, and surprisingly, this thing casts really smooth, but I feel like I'm going back to my the days of when I was a kid fishing with a Zebco 33, but let's see if we can catch some fish out here. I'm going to do my best right here to try to get this over there. Hopefully I don't cast in. Oh my goodness, that couldn't have been a better cast. Oh, I already got one. Dang, that was quick. Ah, red breast. Pretty fish. Pretty. Let's see what else is down in there. Saved my worm. I think that fish hit it and just was kind of like there. Let's see if I can get another good cast off. Oh my goodness. That's two perfect casts in a row. Come on. Oh, there's a fish on it right there. I could see that fish eating it. What we got? Another red breast. That might be a little red breast hole over there. Come on, let go. Well, there's two little ones. I know there's some bigger ones in there. All right, let's try another good cast. A little bit shorter, but still in the zone where those fish are at. Oh, and it's gone. Good, cool, I turned around because there's a stick on my back. Man, look at these. Just hammering it. I got a stick stabbing me in the back. That is a, let's see. Oh, I believe that was a green sunfish. Let's get us another worm. Let's see. That little spot right there might be loaded. Oh, there, there it goes. Oh, I could see it. That was awesome. If I get it through that little sunshine that's shining right through there, you can see them. Oh, and this one ate it all the way. Well, no, I think I'll be able to get that one out. Let's see if we can get this hook out. I am actually going to come right over here to where this deeper water is and see if I can catch one out in front of me here. All right, this time I'm going to see if I can go to that other sh other shoreline over there. There's a Kind of a bushy looking tree over there. It's down in the water. Oh, that was a perfect cast. Man, this thing casts so good. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that's a good one right there. That's a real good one. What do we got? Oh my gosh. That's a good one right there. Easy, buddy. Is that a bluegill? Is that a bluegill or is that a red breast? I can't tell. What do you what do you guys think? Or just a big green sunfish? It's got the markings of a green sunfish right there. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Let's see if we can catch another one. 
we get a good oh see you buddy got a good picture of it all right let's do that again As soon as that hit the water, I mean, that thing just nailed it. Let's see if we can get it back over there again. Right in that same area. That time I left a little bit more worm hanging off. The other one was threaded perfectly on the, the hook, but this one's dangling just a little bit. Come on, let's catch another big one. You don't really have to, but I like to kind of leave it sitting there for a little bit and they give it a little pop. I, I learned that a long time ago with minnows. And it just seems to kind of work the bait again because as it flutter, as it goes up and you, you bring that back to you, it's fluttering and falling backwards because so it's kind of pendulum back. And a lot of times those fish will see that and take that as almost like an action of the, the actual worm. So and with minnows, from learning how to fish with minnows, that really is one of the ways to get the minnows to work start working again if they're getting to where they're almost about to die. I mean, I've, all, I've already caught like 10 fish in probably 15 minutes. Well, no, one, two, three, and I could have caught, if I leave this, leave it right over here, I mean, I can see fish right here in front of me. If I leave it right in front of me, I guaranteed to catch some fish, but I can see them and they're just not that big. Like, let me show you. I'll even see if I can call my own shot. Because these fish are right here in front of me. There they are. See? Right in front of me. And that actually ended up being a little bit better of one. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Ah, quit it. That is a pretty one right there. I mean, they are all over in front of me. And they all look about the same size as this one right here. Let go of it, the stinking hook. Well, there. That is a pretty, let's see, that's a red ear. Right? Oh, right there where it had the black dot, it was red right there. That was a red ear, I believe, right? Let me know, guys. You, A lot of you are out there are the experts on these. I mean, I know how to catch them, and I can catch them, but I just... I've always caught them since I was a little kid. I just never really completely learned the species. And now I'm starting to kind of figure them out and it's actually kind of fun. Let's bring it back over here. I'll show you, I can call my shot again. Look at that, look at that. I mean, they are attacking it. There are so many fish underneath me right here. Ugh. I mean, it's just, that's why worms will catch you fish, almost guaranteed. Now that's a red breast. Yeah, that's a pretty red breast, right? The gold, the kind of reddish gold down there, that's a red breast. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, you gonna make it? Get down in there. There, he made it. There they are. They're hanging out right in here and then they see it and then they go attack. I mean, these fish are so aggressive. This is awesome. Just one after the next. Okay, I caught that one. That is, oh goodness. 
Is that a green sunfish? Oh, he got hung up in the roots of that elephant ear. Well, that was a mess trying to get that fish out of there. I mean, I, I tried so hard, its head was down in the roots of that thing. So, let's see if these fish are still here even after I made all that. Oh, there's a bass right there. Bass! Yes. That's what I'm talking about with worms. You can catch everything with worms. That's awesome. That thing saw it kind of like a Senko, how that worm fell in. That bass just hammered it. Not a big one, but you know, it's just cool to see how that thing came up and slammed it. Got him again. Man, this is fun being right above these fish. This is a pretty fish. What is that? Is that yellow breast? Or is that just, oh, that just looks like a yellow breast. Don't do it again. I don't want to have to dig another one out. Here's what I'm going to do I'm going to see those elephant ears straight ahead. I'm going to toss over there and see if I can get one off of those elephant ears or off that little bit of shade over there. Oh. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. Come on, where are you at? Oh, still playing with it. Oh, this must be a little one. Come on. Oh, what we got? Is that a bass? What we got here? Oh. oh, he came off and he hung me up. Well, that bass came off and I got it undone. I didn't have to retie, so I'm gonna toss back over there. That's awesome. That was the second bass and I don't know how many of these sunfish I've caught. But let's see if we can catch something else. Seems like right there is some good fish. Right there, right there, something's taking off with it. Oh, we got something. Not pulling too hard. This would be an awesome spot to try some catfishing with some some of these sunfish this size. Uh, I think I can get that one out. Let's see. Oi, what we got? Let's see, that is, dang, that's a tough one. That one is just not really any markers. For somebody as inexperienced as me, that is just a, ooh, goodness. I'm not even sure. Looks like a bluegill possibly, just it's really faded from being in the sun so much. Or, I don't know, just didn't have very many markings on it. Yeah, exact same spot, and that's another big one. As soon as it hit. Oh, goodness, look at this red breast. Oh, yeah, that is a pretty fish. That is a real pretty fish. Oh, it's got shoulders on it. Let go, buddy. There we go. Look at this one. That is a pretty fish. That is a real pretty fish. That is a red breast. Man, that is a pretty fish. He's pooping on me. Well, I'm going to let him go, and I'm going to toss right back over there and see if I can get him to hit again, but thank you, buddy. There we go. I mean, you can try for any of these spots around, but if you don't end up catching one, just leave it in the spot right in front of me, and 
you're just about guaranteed to catch one. There's one right there. Came up and nailed it. Yeah, oh, look how gold that is. Wow. That was cool. Is that a bluegill? That looks like a bluegill, as dark as it is. What do you guys think? Is that a bluegill or is that a red breast? Let me know in the comment section, please. I'm trying to learn about these things and I'm not so sure about this one. All right, thank you, buddy. Oh, got one. Another one. Oh, 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 see ya. Quick release. Right there. Oh, goodness, what we get? It hit good. Is it any bigger? <laughs> nope, but it's a good one, that's for sure. Pretty one. It's just lack of stripes or color. I see that's a red breast right there. Oh, oh, oh. Quick release. Oh. There's not much room for error on that cast. Gah! They are just under that tree right there, around it, all over it. That is so cool. This is a little bitty one, but. Well, my timer went off. It's been officially one hour and I caught all those fish within one hour. I fished two spots mainly, right here and right off these elephant ears that are behind me over here. And I hope that was a good example of how worms is the best bluegill sunfish bait that's out there. Uh, these bluegill were questionable whether they were bluegill or not. Let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you, but I love worms and taking my kids fishing, myself going fishing and just going out there just to have a little bit of fun, just catching some fish and not worrying about the actual size of them. You can't beat worms. Go down to your grocery store or Walmart or wherever they're at. Any bait shop carries them. So go get you some worms, a bobber, split shot, and a hook, and you're good to go. So let me know if you guys like to fish with worms like I do. I don't always. I like artificial lures as well, but you can't beat worms. But let me know in the comments section if you found this helpful for you if you're trying to learn about bluegill or sunfish fishing. But subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.